Every day, more and more people choose to work from home. You probably know someone who works from home. Maybe they've approached you about an opportunity to join them, or perhaps you heard about a work at home opportunity on the internet. If you're not familiar with the home business or network marketing industries, it's perfectly understandable that you may have some questions. Questions like, what is the home business industry? What does network marketing actually mean? How does it work? Is it legitimate? And the most important question might be, how do I make money? Over the next few minutes, we're going to answer these questions and many others. At the end of this short presentation, you will have a complete understanding of how this industry works, how you can make money, and you'll know if this industry is right for you. So sit back, relax, and let's begin. There are basically three ways you can earn money. First, you can work for someone else. You have a job. Essentially, you agree to trade your time for a salary or an hourly wage to build someone else's business. They decide the role you perform, the hours you work, the length of your employment, and the value that your time is worth. Jobs are the most common, but often the most limiting ways to make money. The second way you can earn money is with a profession. Some examples would include doctors, lawyers, or engineers. In this case, you get a higher education or develop a specific set of skills or knowledge and you're paid for those services. Professional services often offer a higher level of compensation but come with longer hours and a greater commitment. They tend to require ongoing training and a significant investment of time and money. Now, the third way you can earn income is what a lot of people dream about. That is, being your own boss. Few would argue that this is the most exciting, flexible, and rewarding way to make money. In this model, you are no longer building someone else's dream, but rather your own. The key benefit of being your own boss, and this is important, is that you have the opportunity to leverage the efforts of others to accomplish more and therefore earn more than you otherwise could on your own. This is how people improve both their financial freedom and their time freedom. Unlike a job in which you trade your limited time for a set amount of money, business owners can turn other people's efforts into personal potential. We'll talk more about this in a few minutes. So, there are three ways you can earn money. Work for someone else, become a professional, or be your own boss. Let's focus on the home business industry. The first question to answer is, what is a home business? I mean, it sounds pretty self-explanatory, right? But the reality is that this industry is often misunderstood. Did you know, for example, that according to a recent report released by the United States Census Bureau, that 49% of all U.S. businesses are home-based? There are over 20 million home businesses in the United States alone, with a new one started every six seconds. Worldwide, it's a staggering $427 billion a year industry. Now, as the name implies, a home business is any business that an individual can operate from their home. Certainly, that includes many traditional businesses like web design, fashion, tailoring, technical services, repair services, and many others. But what we're interested in today is a very unique and rapidly growing subset that has a distinct set of advantages over the more traditional businesses. For example, Unlike the other businesses mentioned, this subset typically requires no training or past experience, very little startup capital, and there's no accounts payable, no accounts receivable, no inventory. There are no employees, nor the headaches, expenses, licenses, certifications, and overhead that come along with a traditional business. The kind of home business we're going to talk about, you can work part-time, full-time, or even just in your spare time. You're the boss so you decide. In short, the home business we're interested in offers far greater flexibility, it eliminates many of the costs, expenses, and other drawbacks of a traditional business, and yet it offers tremendous potential, often with less invested. You'll see why that is in just a few minutes. So what is this business called? It's known as network marketing. What is network marketing? What does it mean? Well, it may surprise you, but it is something that you already do every day. 
network marketing simply means word of mouth advertising. Essentially, recommending something to someone else. If you take a moment to think about it, this is something that we all do on a regular basis. We refer friends to our favorite restaurants, movies, and vacation spots. We refer books, stores, doctors, and any number of products that we like to people we know. It's simply part of our nature. So the fact is, we are all technically network marketers. It's just who we are. The difference is, most of us don't get paid to do this, but some people do, and they get paid very well. As you will learn in a moment, they are compensated for far more than just their personal recommendations. Let's look at an example. Let's say you refer your favorite restaurant to several friends. They decide to go there and enjoy a great meal. Some of them enjoy it enough that they go again and again. They bring friends, they tell others too. That's a lot of business resulting from your recommendation. Now, is the restaurant owner going to compensate you for referring him business? Will he reward you for your referrals or every time those people return? Of course not. Even though you did provide the word of mouth advertising, and advertising costs money, right? How about a book publisher for referring your favorite book to a neighbor who goes out and buys it? Are they going to send you a check in the mail? Not likely. Well, in the network marketing industry, this is exactly what you get paid for. Very well, in fact, for simply doing what you already do. But it goes much deeper than that. We'll explore the exciting nature of how you get paid in network marketing in just a few moments. Before we cover how you make money, let's put the industry in a very clear perspective and understand why so many great companies choose the network marketing model in the first place. When a company has a product or service they need to take to market, that is, get it to the end user, they face a very big and very costly challenge. Now they can hire salespeople to sell their product, train them, equip them, put them in an office, pay their salary, and cover their expenses. Or they can open stores and sell their products from traditional brick and mortar storefronts. Or they can cut their margins even further and have their products sold in other stores. Now, with all the big expenses these options carry comes yet another very large expense, advertising. Building a brand and exposing it to the masses is no easy task. With just one 30 second TV slot costing potentially tens, even hundreds of thousands of dollars, plus radio, magazines, newspapers, billboards, direct mail, and so on, it's no surprise that advertising is one of, if not the, largest expense of a company. Worse yet, all these expenses are incurred before a single product is sold. Enter network marketing. A business model that doesn't just eliminate advertising expenses, it also eliminates the tremendous costs associated with hiring, training, and paying a sales force, or opening stores, or courting suppliers. Instead, they just pay you. It's brilliant if you think about it. The company pays out after a sale is made rather than risking huge sums up front. They don't have to advertise, and the resulting profit margins are dramatically higher. That leaves a lot of money on the table for people like you. In fact, it's not unusual for companies to pay out close to 50%, even 60% of the profit revenues they bring in. With some network marketing companies doing in excess of tens, even hundreds of millions of dollars every year, that's a big piece of a very big pie. Now here's where it gets really exciting. Since network marketing companies don't advertise, and you are but one person, they attain widespread exposure another way. The result is that you are not only compensated for your personal referrals, but also for the viral exposure your referrals create. Think about it like this. Imagine someone shares a great online video clip with you, you watch it, think it's great, and forward the link to people you know. Then, many of them do the same. Then those people do the same. And before you know it, that video has been seen by people throughout the world. A little website called YouTube can credit this specific phenomenon for ranking it among the five most trafficked websites on the entire internet. This is known as viral marketing, and we all do it every day. Network marketing works on the same concept. 
The goal is to have your referrals turn into many more referrals and product sales spreading from one person's network to another to another. To encourage this viral exposure, network marketing companies compensate you not just for finding new customers, but for finding new referrers of their product who in turn find new customers and referrers as well. However, this model is not unique to network marketing. Let's consider Sue, a real estate agent and the owner of a real estate firm. As an agent, Sue makes money when she sells a house. However, as the firm owner, she also earns income whenever any real estate agent in any of her offices sells a home. Network marketing simply gives regular people without a product or professional skill set of their own this very same opportunity, the opportunity to own a business that leverages the efforts of others. This is just one of the many beautiful aspects of the network marketing industry. The company is more efficient, the distributors earn money for doing something they already do, sharing with others, and the end customer wins because they get access to products and services from people they know and trust. With this model, everyone wins. You may not recognize many of the companies that use the network marketing model for 100% of their distribution, and there's a good reason for this. As we just explored, these companies don't use the more traditional sales channel methods. They don't advertise through the conventional avenues like TV, radio, magazines, and billboards. So many of them are not as recognizable to the average person. They rely on word of mouth for their advertising. In other words, unless you've been told about them, you may not recognize them. But even with that said, let me ask you this. Do you recognize these companies? IBM, Gillette, Colgate Palmolive, AT&T, Avon or Tupperware? How about General Electric, Citibank, Xerox, Texas Instruments, or Mary Kay Cosmetics? Well, these companies distribute some, or in a few cases, all of their products through network marketing. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett owns several network marketing companies, and many network marketing companies are publicly traded in the stock market as well. The fact is, network marketing is 100% legal, legitimate, and a respected business model. So long as the company is engaged in the sale of real products with real value to the marketplace. In other words, there has to be real demand and real value beyond just the opportunity to make money. The confusion often comes from what people know as a pyramid scheme, a completely illegal situation in which new people are recruited to pay the people above them with no real value trading hands. Ultimately, the people at the bottom are left holding the bag with nothing to show for their efforts. As with any opportunity, evaluate the one you are considering carefully. If it's hard to see why someone would want the product other than to make money, stay away. Otherwise, you can rest easy knowing that network marketing is an honest, legal, and opportunity-rich business model that attracts more and more people every year. Have you ever wondered why some people make $20,000 per year while others are able to make $20,000 per month? They're both working with the same 24-hour day, right? Obviously, whoever creates greater value from the time invested makes more money. It's that simple. Well, network marketing offers three distinct advantages in this respect, each of which enable you to create far more value with the same amount of time. These cornerstone concepts will forever change the way you think about making money. They are known as residual income, compounding, and leverage. Owning a home business in the network marketing industry provides numerous benefits and rewards. Among the biggest are the ability to build both financial freedom and time freedom. In other words, greater income and more time to enjoy it as well. Now there are essentially two kinds of income, linear income and residual income. And only one of these produces this attractive result. Linear income is what you get from a job. You work and you get paid. You don't work and you don't get paid. In essence, you're trading the limited time you have for a fixed amount of money. To earn more, you need to work more hours, hold out for a raise, or get a second job. 
With linear income, it can be very hard to get ahead because when the work stops, the income stops too. Now, residual income, sometimes referred to as passive or recurring income, is when you do something once but continue to get paid over and over again. With this type, when the work stops, the income can continue long after the initial effort. Think about a subscription-based service like the movie rental company Netflix. Netflix works to generate new customers, and when they're successful, they continue to get paid month after month, year after year, for the life of the customer. An insurance salesperson may get paid residually as policies are renewed. Someone marketing vitamins may earn residual income as customers reorder month after month. Residual income is the cornerstone of network marketing. So let's illustrate its power with a practical example and see how it works. Let's say you share a product or service with 10 people in January who make a purchase, and it's something they want each month. Though you found those customers in January, you'll be paid in February, in March, next January, and beyond for as long as they stay a customer. Your effort just produced an ongoing, continual payment for work that was completed months before. What a concept, right? Work once, get paid again and again. Now, there's nothing wrong with the one-time linear income, but given the choice, which would you prefer? Work hard and get paid once, or work hard and get paid residually month after month, year after year? As you can see, residual income is an important concept for building wealth. Let's take a look at another. The underlying engine that produces incredible success in network marketing is the power of compounding. Consider this. If I were to give you a choice between $1 million in cash or a single penny doubled every day for a month, which would you take? Well, if you're like most people, you quickly said, I'll take the million. And like most people, you'd miss out on a whole lot of money. Do the math and you'll be pretty surprised. That penny is two pennies on day two. It's 16 cents on day four, a dollar 28 on day eight. It's 81.92 on day 14, and on day 21, you're a hair over $10,000. And on day 28, you're over $1.3 million. Now, if our hypothetical month has 30 days, you're looking at over $5 million on the last day. Compounding is incredibly powerful. Network marketing capitalizes on compounding in two key ways. The first, you can credit to residual income. Because you're able to get paid month after month for work you do once, each month is an opportunity to build on the income you generated the month before. Your effort compounds on itself. Think of having the opportunity to get a raise in May, then again in June, and yet again in July, by simply doing exactly what you did the month before. Now the second way is even more exciting. Let's take our penny example of compounding and apply it to an illustration of building a network marketing organization. If you enroll just one new member into your business each month and you taught that new person to do the same and the duplication continued, you would have over 4,000 people in your group after only one year. In other words, if everyone shared the company's product with others and recruited just one new person interested in building the business every 30 days, the compounding effect would produce an organization of 4,096 people in only 12 months. And imagine earning a percentage residually on all 4,000 of those members each and every month. Pretty incredible. Now the reality is that not everyone that joins your business will enroll their one person each month. Some people will do more and some will do less. However, the power of compounding is truly a remarkable one. And one of the many reasons why people are able to supplement, replace, or even surpass a full-time income in a surprisingly short amount of time. The final concept we're going to explore, and perhaps the most important, is known as leverage. John D. Rockefeller, often regarded as the richest person in history, illustrated the concept of leverage best when he said, I would rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 people than 100% of my own efforts. To put it another way, 
Money alone is nothing without the time to enjoy it. What compounding is to income leverages to lifestyle. Leverage is what gradually and increasingly removes personal effort from the income equation by turning other people's efforts into personal potential. Let's look back at a previous example. Sue was once a real estate agent. She worked hard selling houses to generate income, but then she decided to open a real estate firm. Now Sue has an office full of real estate agents who are all selling houses. Sue gets paid whenever any of them sells a house. Maybe Sue hires a manager to open another branch. More real estate agents selling more property equals more money in Sue's pocket. By leveraging the efforts of others, Sue is creating time freedom. The less her income is tied to her personal production, the more freedom she has. This is the beauty of network marketing. When you start a network marketing business, you are immediately afforded this opportunity. You are your own boss, you're in control, and your own efforts will dictate your success. But that can change very quickly and in an amazing fashion. With the right company, you'll have proven products, an established reputation, proven tools, and a system at your fingertips. Together, they offer you the opportunity to build an ever-growing organization of eager business owners, each of whom have the same incentives and opportunity you have. Their efforts grow their business, and in the process, grow yours as well. In time, your income can become less and less dependent on the hours you personally work and more on the cumulative efforts of the team of people. Imagine having a team of 10, 100, or 1,000 motivated people. Compounding, leverage, residual income all work together. They provide a very unique and very powerful opportunity to not only build your income, but your time freedom as well. Here's the reality. There are great jobs, there are great professions, and there are great businesses. But how many do you know of where ordinary people, regardless of age, education, skills, or background, are afforded such extraordinary potential to achieve the financial, time, and lifestyle rewards available in network marketing? How many do you know of where everyone begins on equal footing with virtually unlimited potential? and where the success of one doesn't put another's job or promotion in jeopardy, but rather leads to the success of others. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, called network marketing a revolutionary way to achieve wealth. And he went on to say, the most successful people in the world look for and build networks while everyone else just looks for work. Paul Zane Pilzer, New York Times best-selling author, world-renowned economist, and former presidential economic advisor said, the emerging industries of wellness and network marketing are combining to create today's and tomorrow's new wealth. Billionaire Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in history, purchased a network marketing company and was quoted as saying, it's the best investment I've ever made. That's a lot of powerful credibility. During this presentation, we've covered some important topics. We define the three ways to earn money and the advantages and drawbacks of each. We examine the growth of home business and explain what network marketing really means. We explain that network marketing is simply a word of mouth based distribution channel and how it benefits both companies and independent business owners. And finally, we cover how you can make money in this industry, focusing on the concepts of residual income, the compounding effect, and leverage. Hopefully this presentation has been helpful. Hopefully it's answered your most pressing questions. And hopefully it's given you some powerful reasons to give network marketing strong and careful consideration. Thanks for watching.